this IO board. There's a screw here. Alright. There's another screw here. This one has a wire on it. It's a ground cable. So I think that's for your ID port for your, uh, your disk drive. So just keep in mind that that one has a cable attached to it. And there's another screw here. There's a screw. Take that out and this assembly is pretty well stuck in there. Actually, that looks like it is a part of motherboard. That's interesting. But now we can get out this other cooling pan at the very least. Once again, we have another one of these lousy cables. Probably because it has to control the SLI. 
SRE Crossfire. SLIR Crossfire, this laptop can support both. like it's infrared. Pretty sure that's what that is. It's a little infrared board. So this is your empty empty laptop case. The aluminum laptop case. Not bad. Anyhow, back to the motherboard. We have our motherboard here. It's quite small for an SLI motherboard or crossfire motherboard. You have your two MXM 3.0B slots. You have one, looks like, no, one, two PCIe Express Mini slots. You have your CPU socket and IDE slot, which is very weirdly laid out. Um, then on the back, you have two RAM DDR3 slots. You have two SATA. Slots, your battery, obviously. You have your power connector right there. You have VGA, HDMI, DVI, Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, FireWire port, and an ESATA USB 3.0 port combo. And yeah, that's about it for the motherboard. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting, actually. And then, if we go back to our peripheral board, we have another two USB 3.0 ports. We have a card reader, PCIe Express port, and four audio microphone SPDIF ports. So that's about that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this was to go along with the disassembly videos I did of the Asus G71GX and the Gateway FX laptop. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please check out those other videos and subscribe or comment. Um, I'm happy to answer your questions. I've, I've answered a bunch of questions regarding the Asus video. Um, or Asus, however you say it. Um, other than that, I'm just going to leave you with a word of warning.
warning, if you do this, it's all on your own risk. I've said this in all my other videos. Um, I'm not responsible if you, if you mess with your laptop taking it apart. These are meant to be tutorials for people who are enthusiasts or, or, or curious about what's in their laptop. Um, I will be putting this laptop back together now, and I will edit the video on this laptop to prove to you that I didn't kill it. Um, thank you very much, and keep looking out on my channel for upcoming videos of further disassemblies and other cool things. I have a coil gun that I might, I might make a video about. It's pretty powerful. Anyhow, thank you very much, and be sure to rate and subscribe.